Hello, and welcome to another video. In this video today, we have a girl who is really, really stupid and is spoiled. But she is just very spoiled. She's a brat. And let's see what happens. Because, you know, Dr. Phil, you know, the guy, he's kind of bald and he's got that iconic, like, mustache. Or wait, no, that's Steve Harvey. Whatever. But, yes, the Dr. Phil is going to try and whip her back into shape. Let's see what is going on here. just paid the bill see that yes, that I love designer. that that's your problem you paid the bill why did you pay the bill why did you pay the bill woman some months her credit card bills would be ten thousand. Ten thousand. I just, just paid, paid the bill. bill. I just paid the bill. Sometimes, some, some months her credit card bill would be ten thousand dollars. I just paid it. Like no. Well, it's a five thousand dollars a month to cover her expenses. I love designer clothes. And shopping on Rodeo Drive just because it's so fun. I have some five thousand dollar Chanel bags. A couple of those. This is my favorite bag. It's a Celine micro luggage tote. I keep it on a chair because it's just so special. It's about three thousand dollars, and I literally three three thousand dollars. Can't I just can't I think of it as my own child? I have a Gucci bag right here. It's about three thousand dollars. Again, three thousand dollars. I have given her about a hundred thousand dollars. I don't even keep track anymore. These are my favorite pair of heels. They're Valentinos. I love them so much. I really like this piece. It's Louis Vuitton. I know I'm a spoiled brat, but I enjoy the lifestyle, you know? People are gonna hate on me, but they wish they were me. I realize I had to start cutting back because this is really out of control. That went over just like a ton of bricks. Now my spending allowance per month is $1,000. I feel like a peasant. I can't live like this anymore. Oh my God. Oh. My God. Oh. My God. <laughs> Yo, I gotta hear it again. Out of control. That went over just like a ton of bricks. Now my spending allowance per month is $1,000. I feel like a peasant. Now my spending allowance is $1,000 a month. I feel like a peasant. I can't live I like can't. this anymore. I'm I can't. I can't. I mean, seriously, like, you feel like a peasant even though you're living off $1,000 a month? Nah. Like, I can't even with this chick anymore. She's already seriously, like, not even... She's, uh, she's on my nerves. She's on my nerves. Out of money. If you ask me, I think my mom should be giving me at least 2500 a month just to cover my basic expenses. I need money to buy clothes. I need money to buy shoes. My mom just doesn't get it. She'll blow through a thousand dollars a week and then tell me that she's broke and she needs more money. When my mom refuses to give me money, I make her life a living hell. I have my ways. My daughter totally guilt trips me. I just don't want to deal with the drama, so I just give in and give my bratty daughter everything she wants. My mom refers to me as a Beverly Hills brat. It's true, I'm a brat and I'm not gonna change. 
Well, all right. If she says she's not gonna change, let's see if Dr. Phil can make her change. Here we are on the Dr. Phil show with Dr. Phil, the man himself, and let's go. I wanna say some things to you about your daughter. What I'm concerned about is her self-image. And self-image is the perception or mental picture that you have, your appearance, abilities, and personal worth. And I think when someone feels like they have to have all of these things in order to feel like they're presentable, to feel like they're worthy, to feel like they can be acceptable, then they don't have much self-worth. Well, my mom made me feel that way. Yeah, I've said that over... What? This chick just said, my mom made me feel that way. I can't. I can't. For indulgence is a form of child abuse. It does cripple a child. You see, a child forms their self-image, their self-worth, by making attributions to themselves. We watch ourselves in situations and say, wow, I did that. I overcame that. I accomplished that. I did that. I learned about myself that way. So I have confidence that I can do these things. She's saying, you screwed up. You parented me that way. But it's not over. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the mom just mm. but it but doc but it's not over are you are you sure like seriously like uh, no nah. reparenting so many parents have to have the opportunity to reparent their child reparenting so you guys need to read child five thousand dollars a month twenty make sure she has met the things that she's right. capable of doing I'm gonna... minimum wage. I guess and my car. No, I, I think she... and you know you have a roof over her head her head, feed her, make sure she has medical care, take care of her in those ways. I think she needs to get a job. No. I think she needs. I think she needs to get a job where she works and observes herself doing the things that she's capable of doing. Minimum wage isn't gonna get and me my car. Minimum wage isn't gonna get her her car, Doctor Phil. Wow, how could you do that to someone? You can't just. You can't just get a car off of minimum wage, Doctor Phil. Doctor Phil. <laughs> Not in a hurry. That's why you need an education. So you don't have to work for minimum wage. By the time I was your age, I'd worked at A&W Root Beer Stand on roller skates. I had worked at throwing a paper route. At, I'd worked at Pizza Planet. I'd worked everywhere you could get a job. It's this girl for real. Saying, realize when you indulge her, <laughs> you're doing that to make yourself feel. And what you need to do is do what is required for her to be better. And is she going to be unhappy about it? Yes. Yes. Extremely yeah. Unhappy. Extremely. It's not um, just going to pout and act at home. Well, th that's her choice. But you need to work out something where she becomes productive and makes a contribution to society instead of taking from society. I think the best thing would be to start with a job. No. Yeah, absolutely no. she needs a job. No! <laughs> I think she needs to start with a job. No! Yes, yes, that's a very good observation. Uh, whatever your name is. Yes, she should start with the job. No!
like, for real? Are you kidding me? Nah. We'll get Dr. Phil. And I think it would be great if you volunteered some more at the soup kitchen. You could do some great volunteers. Yeah. Volunteer at the soup kitchen. <laughs> Look at Dr. Phil. He's like, Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Ice, uh, and I think it would be great if you volunteered some more at the soup kitchen. You can yeah, that volunteer. would be we'll lovely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I started with a babysitter. I think my first job was at IHOP. Oh, you don't pay me to babysit. She makes me babysit. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. This, I think this just went from trying to make, trying to turn a spoiled girl into a normal girl to parents to old people reminiscing about their first jobs. Like, seriously? I started out as a babysitter. Is it for free? She doesn't need a job babysitting. She needs a job in the world. No. She needs a job. She needs a job at home. A job. Oh my god. Oh, she's getting mad. <laughs> you, you need a job. Dr. Phil straight up told her she needs a job. And she said, no, it's too much work. Really? What's a job then? Sitting at home on the couch? No, it's working. So that is what happened on the Dr. Phil show. Let's see how she is after the Dr. Raj show.
was that? <laughs> We're great. Good about yourself for having aided some of those folks for a time, even if it was just a short time? Definitely. Uh, please welcome Joey Weiner from the Midnight Mission in downtown Los Angeles. Um, Joey's been working at the soup kitchen and homeless shelter for the past three years. As you know, I've been down there because I work with LAPD and uh, they do a great job down there and 